Hey everyone, TragicMTG here to do another box opening for a patron. This time it is for Chris Walker. Thank you very much, Chris. Let's get into your box here. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. I've had pretty good luck with these boxes so far. Let's see, I'm gonna be careful of the box topper. Yeah, there we go, that one looks okay. Nothing wrong with that one. I got a couple boxes that were like loose out of the case. These are from a full case and they seem to fare better in that way. So here's the box topper. Let's go ahead and get into that first. Can we get something amazing? Or will we get an uncommon? Ooh, that's amazing right there. Mothra Supersonic Queen. Very excellent box topper alternate art of Luminous Broodmoth. All right. Here we go with the scanner. Let's, uh, let's see what the scanner thinks about that. Well, bing, it says it's 49 bucks. Well, off to a good start for Chris there. All right, let's get into these packs and let's see. This box seemed to be a little friendlier with the, uh, the side tab than the last ones I got. There's an Indotha Triome to get started with. So this box is looking real nice already. Let's see, come on scanner, do your thing. There we go, five bucks on that one. Let's uh, get the piles going. You know they're gonna get crazy bad here real quick. That's just my style. So here's some uncommons and commons. Next up, Icoria. I'm liking this set, it's fun. Luris of the Dream Dan, wow. That's uh, another pretty good one. Of course, it's now um, it's a little less usable now. It's been banned in some formats, but it's um, gonna go down in history as one of those infamous cards of the, the infamous cards of infamy. You know the ones I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Yep, yep. See, that's the thing about the tab. More than half the time does not work for me personally. All right, let's see. We've got a Rogrin Triome alternate showcase. This is the bomb box right here. Come on. Well, being 9.99, we are well on our way here. Any alternate showcase commons? Hey, there is. There we go. Put that in the uncommon slot. So, I'm going to send all this stuff to my patron Chris. Let him sort it out later. Uh, uh, can I just even open this pack here? Human Mountain Unpredictable Cyclone. So there are definitely a lot of rares in this set that are not $10, but it's okay. There we go. Next up. Love it when they open up nice and easy. Island and a Kogla the Titan Ape foil and then it looks like we've got something Even better behind it. That looks like a Luca copper coat outcast. Yes. Wow This box am I right? So the foil Kogla Buck 25 Luca In the alternate frame 12 bucks. Wow Wow Wow. Wow. Okay. Very good. Chris, you are raking it in here. Not even like a quarter of the way through the box. Let's see what's next. A footfall crater, foil, and a song of creation. Scan that one up. Buck there. A buck there. Any alternates? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let me go right there. Already mixing up my uncommons and commons. Oh, that was nice. Buttery smooth pack opening. I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. We got a foil, jubilant skybonder, and a the ozolith. It's a the ozolith. Five bucks. And I'm not sure if any of these uncommons are really. There might be a couple good ones in here, but I am not aware of them. The prices are ever shifting as always. We're 
saying the EV on these boxes is supposedly low. Not by what I'm seeing here. This is some good stuff. Evercool Phoenix. That's not going to make it. Got some uncommons and commons, and none of them are showcase arts. It's okay. We're here for the rares and mythics and Godzillas and alternate arts and majestic oricorns foil showcase I'm, I'm gonna scan that one and see as a foil what does it do to the value probably makes it a whole 50 cents and a mythos of snapbacks is the rare even less 45 cents you know that's okay the demand is gonna go up for these eventually but um, in the short term, when people are not playing in the stores too much, um, some of these cards are not as desirable as they might have been. It is a Yorian Sky Nomad, which is seeing a lot of play on Arena, I believe. It's a couple bucks. Mamba. There's a Glowstone Recluse. Uh, so, again, I sound like a broken record. I love the alternate comic book art on these showcases. So much better than the constellations from the last set. Nice eye. Creepy eye. Yeah, like Luca right there, he looks just like right out of uh, right out of a comic book. You know, I, I'd be happy with a whole set that was based on this. Uh, companion token. Oh yeah, d and I, I, I swear, someday, I'm a big D&D guy. I, I actually DM a group. They're going to do a crossover, I guarantee it. We will have a Magic the Gathering set. Um, set probably in Faerun. I would like that. They'll probably do a different setting just to be cute, but it'll be D&D. &D. Death's Oasis is your rare 38 cents. Void Beckoner. And nothing else major there. Got just one mythic out of the regular pack slot, so we're due for at least a couple more. Uh, oh yeah, these tokens are pretty cool. Um, I think those are gonna be in somewhat higher demand. I, I mean, just for use. Hey, hey, there we go. Talking about mythics, Brockos, Apex of Forever, two sixty-seven. That one may or may not go up. Or corn and no alternates. Actually, I like the mutated mechanic. I think um, there's so much hype on the companion. Um, I feel like mutate's gonna probably stand the test of time too. Oh, we got a foil, Swiftwater Cliffs, and a luminous brood moth. Wow, there we go. So we got one of each, a regular and a showcase brood moth. So this one. Ten bucks. This is quite the box right here. Grim Dancer. And a Dream Tail Heron. There we go. Let's uh, shore these up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the side thing. Uh, almost all the way down. Somewhat easier. Got a cliff. Spell Eater of Wolverine and a Mythos of Brachos. The Brachos Mythos. And a Boneyard Lurker. That's cool. You cannot deny that that is cool. And a common Migratory Great Horn alternate art. Uh, it's nice that some of the commons are, are alternates. Um, Theros did not have any common constellations, I don't think. That's kind of cool. Garuda, Doom Adepts. It is a couple bucks still. Easy Prey and a Thundermane. And some other stuff. There we go. All right. About halfway through now. Planes and a Voracious Great Shark. Goes for 43 cents. Parcel Beast. Oops, wait. 
rares in the rare pile, uncommons in the uncommon pile, commons in the common pile. Uh, speaking of piles, I got a giant pile of open packs just to the right of me. And I'm just throwing them over there. We got a foiled Duranith Stinger and a Gem Razor and a Titanoth Rex and a Pouncing Shore Shark. Love it. Bright colors are my thing. Skull Prophet. Put it in there. That's it. I, I feel I'm going to knock this all over at some point here. Hey, that worked out pretty good. Human Soldier Mountain Bonders Enclave. For 67 cents. Get the Wish Giver. And some other stuff. There we go. Uncommon. Common. Zoop. Almost all the way down. Blossomy Sands and a Mythos of Vadrock. Not a big one. Fight is one. A Night Bonder. Let's do these. Oops, over here. And none of the alternates. Yeah, that worked out well. All right, so yeah, back to these tokens. Useful and good actual thicker cardboard than the last time they did this. Um, and they're not like in every other pack, so they're a little bit more rare. We've got a Lutri, the band. 50 cents, yeah. Yeah, they saw that one coming a mile away. Uh, apparently not in R&D though. There we go. Zoop. Cat token, swamp. Whoops, I missed it. It is an eerie ultimatum. My favorite art of the ultimatums. Nice. Oops, can you see it? Go, scanner, go. There we go. Buck 32. The heartless act. Okay, all right, fix the piles. Here we go. Next pack. Nope, see, I didn't get all of it. Got a dinosaur beast. And a Cub Warden alternate art rare. Very cool. And it is a 70 cent card, even as a showcase. Wingspan, Easy Prey, Liger. Um. Oh, a cloud piercer. There we go. Very nice. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, all the way down. That is what it's about. Soldier Plains, Hornbash Mentor, and a Slither Wisp. This card's got some uh, possibilities, I say. Oddity Rumbler Enforcer. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. I get it now. I used to have a lot of trouble opening these side pack thingies. And the Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. So there's the fourth regular mythic, if you will, out of the regular packs. And it is a $12 card. Well over expected value for this box at this point. Doing, oh, what is this swamp doing there? That's not supposed to be there. This one goes there. That one goes here. Vulpakeet. And a dead weight. All right. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are. I hope Chris is having a good time watching his box get open here. Soldier token, Bloodfell Caves, and a Labyrinth Raptor. It is probably not a big one. It is 40 cents. Porky Parrot. What was that? A boot nipper. Yeah, I like that. All right. Could we possibly get another mythic out of this box? A six mythic box. Planes. Four planes and a whirlwind of thought. 
Nope. Lord Dracus. And Waltz. Oh yeah, that's a bummer. The pack you have to open twice. It is a Mythos of Nethroi. Love the art on these. I mean, cool concept. Just the ancient history of this plane. Hey, Huntmaster Liger. Very cool. I don't think those are ever going to get old for me. And the next pack. Lifelink token swamp and a Zerta the Dawn Waker as a foil rare. Excellent. Let's scan this one up. We got a Hunted Nightmare. Zerta. Okay. You got seen as a foil. It is four bucks. That's a winner. Hunted Nightmare. Just a bit. Luca. And a nothing else. Just some commons. All the way down. Inspired ultimatum. Whoops. Come on. Come on, scanner, do your thing. Oh, it saw it twice. The, my OCD will not let me let that slide. We got a uh, Archipelago alternate showcase comic book kaiju anime style art I'm just gonna call them comic book I, I'm a I'm a westerner <laughs> I grew up on comic books I was never into anime I grew up watching uh, uh, Godzilla on Saturday morning so I do like this stuff but I'm uh, not into the anime stuff anyway we got a Rogren Triome there it is Six ninety nine. These are going to stand the test of time, and the showcases are going to be, I think, sought after for quite some time. Did we get an alternate art in the common slot? Yes, we did. It's a cloud piercer. Uh, yep, this one here, that one there. All right, nearing the bottom of the box. Mm -hmm. Soldier Plains and a Gigantha, the Wellspring Companion. This is not one of the bigger companions, right? Mamba Thundermane Trumpeting Gnar. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. All right. Zoop. Nope, we don't need that. We need a Ruinous Ultimatum. And it is a buck, two eight. Nope. No additional hits. Oh, let's see, we got a Feather Token. And a Tranquil Cove, and an Offspring is Revenge. And some commons, or uncommons. That's not a big one. Come on. Alternates. Nope. All the way down. Zip. We got a crystalline giant. 50 cents. Porky parrot. Pouncing shark. This feels like an unset. Alright, two packs left. One more mythic. Come on, let's do it. Soldier Forest, Wingfold Terron, and this one's in four. Got a legendary, some kind of legendary. A Karuga the Macro Sage. Just a rare, a rare legendary. And it is 51 cents. Okay. Last pack right here. Last chance to get this to a six mythic box. Can we do it? Can it be done? Alright, we got a Sharknado. We got an island. And we got a foil memory leak. And we got a Mythos of Aluna. So, 
Only a five mythic box. Pretty dang good though. The Luna is gonna go for 49 cents. Necro Panther and no other alternates. So there you go, Chris, you did great on your box. And everyone else did great for watching me open this box of cards. So thank you very much everyone. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And have a good one.